Hello and welcome to video number two. In this specific video, we're going to be talking about targeting the right keywords that will attract your buyers or the people that will be signing up on to your email list. So let's go ahead and get started. Just a quick overview here of what we're going to be talking about in this specific video. First, you need to find a niche that you're passionate about. Then we're going to find a keyword tool to use and do some keyword research. Okay, so what I recommend that you do is to find a niche that you're passionate about. And then next, what you can do is go use the Google keyword tool, which is free. So hop on over to google.com, as you can see here, and simply type in Google keyword tool. Now, assuming that you have found a niche that you want to attack, it's time to use the Google keyword tool to figure out whether this niche that we're going to look into is profitable or not. If you click on the top one here, Google's keyword tool, what I would recommend now is to simply enter a general keyword phrase. So let's say for example that I want to build a WordPress blog that surrounds chicken coops. So chicken coop and you'll need to enter this here. Now you will notice here there are three different columns. There's a competition, there's global monthly searches and local monthly searches. I don't really pay any attention to the global monthly searches. I pay close attention to the local monthly searches. So this just tells you how many people actually type this in. Now, if you want it to make it exact, like you want to track people that type exactly the keyword building a chicken coop, you're going to need to check this up here that says exact. So we're going to check that, click on broad. We only want exact phrases. So people who type in building a chicken coop, as you can see here, there's 1900 people, mobile chicken coop, there's 590 and so forth. Now com competition tells you how many sites out there are competing with you under that specific keyword. So we could narrow it down further by going back up here and click on, on advanced options and filters. And you could say, let's say competition equals low and medium. Click on search. So now we have only keywords that have competition of low and medium. Low means that it's easier to actually rank on that specific keyword. So if you wanted to dig really, really deep, you could focus on perhaps selling Sonoma chicken coops. And as you can see, it's a low competition, but it's a high local monthly searches. So if you want to create a WordPress blog specifically on Sonoma chicken coops, you can actually do that. Now I don't really know what Sonoma is. It could be a product name or a brand name. If it is a brand name, you could create a site that reviews Sonoma chicken coops, find all their models, do a WordPress blog and simply go from there. We have DIY do it yourself chicken coops. 880. So by going through all these keywords, it gives you an idea of what kind of WordPress blog that you can create it on. You have DIY chicken coops and it really gives you an angle chicken coop blueprints. So people are looking for uh, chicken coop blueprints so that they can build a chicken coop, chicken coop plans, PDF, DIY chicken coop plans. So I'm seeing a lot of do-it-yourself chicken plans here. And this just gives you an idea of what kind of keywords that you can go after. And if you want to have a better idea of what you're up against, if you click on the actual keyword and click on Google search, 
it'll actually do the search and you can see what you're up against in terms of videos, in terms of websites, and so forth and so forth. Now, one thing to note is that when Google looks at your website and they look at your title, if somebody types in DIY chicken coop, anything that has the DIY chicken coop in the actual title of that website or content piece, it'll actually rank higher in Google. So as you can see here, we've got most of these at the top are the DIY chicken coops. As you can see here, this is DIY backyard chicken coop plans. So it's actually, this should be not too hard to rank on. So this is medium competition. We've got DIY chicken coops as a medium competition. You got 880 local monthly searches for 880 people that are looking for DIY chicken coops. So they want to actually learn how to build a chicken coop. From this point on, you can have these keywords. You, what, you, what I recommend that you do is just simply copy this over to Notepad, WordPad, or some sort of word processor so that you can keep track of all your keywords. And if you want to save it all, you can simply click on Save All, as you can see here, and it'll actually save your ideas right here. Once you've done the proper keyword research, in the next video, you need to figure out products that you can actually monetize and sell to your list. So let's move on to video number three and find some products to sell.